Good morning, folks. You will remember we just got a Quake Watch hit in Japan two days ago. Let us start with another. Folks, yesterday there was a major shift in Earth energy alerts. Nothing in the Northern Hemisphere was on alert, but these two southern areas showed nearly 100% of the global electric circuit potential for earthquakes. This morning, literally minutes ago, a seven-pointer struck New Zealand as I was putting this video together. We'll have to wait a bit for damage and injury reports. Hearts and minds are with you. Let's continue over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours of our star were relatively quiet, but not without features to note. Of course, we've got the main coronal hole mass departing with another patch in coming from the left. Solar flaring has been low, as you might imagine, and even with the birth of some sunspots on the north, they'd need major growth to scare an observer. Honestly, it's the darker plasma filament next to the bright sunspot that is likely the bigger eruption threat, especially if it is connected at all to the sparse but unthinkably long filament just behind it, oriented up and down longitudinally. Coming back to Earth where solar wind speed remains elevated, looking at the full purple panel, we see two speed plateaus on top of one another, but as the second, more intense stream hit yesterday, Earth's magnetic shield mustered everything it had and has not let a single storm-level disruption occur since the onset of the most intense part of the stream. Let's take a peek behind the incoming limb to see what our star has in store. Remember, zero faces Earth and 180 will be the exact opposite side of the sun, Main thing to notice is we've got bright sunspot potential just a few days away behind the limb, and they're sitting in front of the massive northern coronal hole. This is what's coming next week. Folks, the drought and fire situation in the southeast is getting bad. We mentioned their drought expansion earlier this week, and now records are falling as some areas have gone a month to 40 days or more without rain. Bad enough without meteorologists being arrested for arson, which happened. As for today, high pressure may let some clouds in there, but unlikely any of the rain they're going to need. Let's quickly run through some atmospheric chemistry. This is our sulfate map. We'll move from there over to sulfur dioxide. No real surprises. Dust extinction shows the extra sand lifted over the Atlantic, helping to quell their storm situation. Carbon monoxide, bad in China as expected, but also in Alberta, Canada, well north of the border, and CO2. Map looks normal except for this anomaly near Southern California. Not sure what to make of that one. Folks, your resources. Obviously, spaceweathernews.com tracks every important solar index in real time, but you can also become a space weather expert in about one hour by clicking here. We also have the website, quakewatch.net. The site is under construction, but while you wait, this is how you find the link to all of our earthquake predictions. Links so you can verify the forecasts, statistics, etc. Of course, earthchanges.org is the website where our tracking of space weather and our tracking of Earth's magnetic reversal and fading protective shield are coming together. This page is also only about an hour of your time. Last but not least, there are a number of free videos at suspiciousobservers.org on the home page if you scroll down, but if you click that button over to the right, you're going to get to the conference page. Observing the Frontier 2017 is coming up this April in Albuquerque, New Mexico. See the speakers, presentation titles, schedule, and some preview videos. We'll see you in the high desert next spring. Of course, your memberships at suspiciousobservers.org are what bring all these free resource websites to you, along with these morning news programs. Hundreds of hours of explanations and interesting topics are waiting just behind the members' door. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.